Hello my beautiful Leos, how are you doing? This is a reading for your September month ahead and I haven't done these readings for quite a while so I just thought I'd do them for you now, I did miss tarot a bit. But this is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising, if you're new here welcome, if you're a returning subscriber welcome back and just getting back into how I built my channel basically, doing all the tarot readings that I can. Pick a card still coming, so don't worry. If you have a suggestion as to what you'd like to see in a pick a card, let me know. And I'll see what I can do in the near future. The 2021 will be coming up soon. Whoa, hello. <laughs> I don't think that's for you, but that's just me being flumbly. Right, you seem to want to come through as a theme. Nine of Wands, you're almost there. You just need to ca carry on and see where you're going and make sure that you feel more in control than maybe you do at the moment. Alright, and at the bottom you have the Two of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is your theme. And when the Nine of Wands comes across, this is mainly to do with almost being there. You have a lot of tenacity, you have a lot of drive. Maybe if you felt that it's getting really difficult and it's getting more of a burden than anything else, it's now the time to say, you're just almost at the finish line, carry on. You have to decide whether you want to see it through or whether you just want to kind of take a break. I do believe a lot of you Leos are on the cusp of a breakthrough. I feel like there's something that's just going to snap into place and then you're able to move in or move forwards on something that you've had in your mind for a while. Maybe somebody finally understands the root cause of what you're looking for. You know, you finally get somebody who understands your vision. It's something that I think a lot of you have, a lot of Leos have this vision of the future, a vision of themselves. And if somebody doesn't understand that, more fool them. But ultimately, it is something that I think you've worked a lot on. And it is you. It's kind of like your brand almost. Like if your brand is to be the life of the party or to be the one always reading tarot cards in the corner. You know, there's something that seems to come through that's very authentic about you. And I think that's going to be a focus as well for this month. But don't give up. You're almost there. You're almost at the end of the year. You've almost survived 2019. 2020 might be a different kettle of fish, you know. Um, but there is definitely something coming in to suggest that you're almost there on something. You're almost in a breakthrough. Now the Queen of Pentacles, she's normally coming around to say that you need to nurture yourself a little bit more. But also be practical in your application of problem solving in your sort of solutions that you do for normal problems, everyday problems. Could also be that you're deciding to do something different with your house, maybe shush it up a bit, change something about it, even to the point of putting it a different couch there or moving your couch, something like that. It could even be bringing the garden into your home, making sure that you want, you know, some better energy flowing around. But the Lover's card can be about finding a new part of yourself or a part of yourself that you thought would disappeared a while ago. You know, it could be something that you thought, oh, I'll never get that part of me back or I'll never f see this come through. But I do feel that this card in particular will be something that to do with your partner or to do with prospective partners or the way you see relationships. So it could be that you're being very, very practical with the way you see relationships. It could be a business relationship that you're wanting to build on or develop. But there's definitely something coming through here to say that there's a new start. Now the thing is that the new start, you may be confused about which direction to go first. Or torn between two choices. Which direction do you want to go? Do you want to go this way or that way? It may not be a first time thing, it may just be at all. Um, but the fool is definitely something that comes forward to me saying that you are going to get a new opportunity. Maybe some time away is going to be really helpful for you. Maybe something that you're going to see or say or reach out, you know, like universe, I want to have this happen or universe. See if there's something that's coming through to answer you with that because I do feel that you're going to be in key manifestation mode. You've just had your solar return if you're born in Leo. So that's going to be something that you can utilise and say this is my fresh year, this is what I want to do. New Year's don't always start on January the 1st. You know, New Year's can be from any point that you want it to be. Oh, it's been two years since or it's been a year since. You know, it doesn't matter as to where you point that year from. You know, anniversaries, wedding anniversaries, you know, that kind of thing. It could be something that you're pinning your 
yearly thing too. But I do think that there's going to be a particular decision that you may feel forced into. But I do actually feel like it's going to pay off because you do have things coming back to you. And you're giving out energy and you're receiving it back. You can be charitable with your time. You can be very supportive of other people, very wise, you know, giving the energy back out there so you can receive it and replenish it. The star, universe has your back. So if you ask for it, it will be delivered. It will be given to you. You just need to keep working at it and I keep asking for it and being grateful when you receive it and giving the help when you can. And the ten of cups self-explanatory really this isn't happy ever after this is just a happy for now you certainly have a culmination of something that you've worked a long time for and you start to see if not concrete results you'll start to see things blossoming blooming getting the results that you actually wanted all along so for some of you it could be you know i'm really sick of this job Ooh, i have a job that's really easy coming forward this opportunity i really want it and you get an interview for it something like that something like an opportunity coming in but the two of wands is very much about having that patience to see the idea through having that okay so this is where i'm going this is having this, this is foresight and strategizing and having the creation to know that not all paths are linear you know sometimes they're curly whirly they're upside down they're back to front but you're still having the foresight to know where it is you want to go so let's have a look at your cards and see what advice they have to give for you. I do get a really strong, strong vibe for you, Leo. What's this one? Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations and the divine plan. Again, it's kind of like saying, you know, where do I want to go? Who do I want to be, right? So I'm just going to figure out this and then I'm going to lay the foundations. I do want another card though. Okay, this one. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits and your soul tribe or your soul clan. What I prefer to say. So your soul clan is coming in. And I honestly believe that you have got some people who are really supporting you. Giving you some kind of cheerleading going on so they're going to be really important but you are very much giving the sort of how to put it giving the sort of energy to the right thing and I believe that that's something that you may have worried about for some time like am I focusing on the right thing am I focusing on the wrong thing this is here to say you're definitely doing it right you just have this community that's really important that you should pay attention to pay attention to the people who want to be in your group you know, who really reach out and try and get to know you a little bit because they might be of, well, not of use, but certainly important to you later on. And also there could be a plan that includes them. You know, it could be that your foundations were started a while ago, but now you're just starting to see the connections as to who's important and maybe occasionally who's not. But let me know in the comments below, Leo, if this resonated with you. I look forward to hearing about it. And if you do have any questions for bigger card readings, just let me know. I've also got all my social links if you want to get in contact with me in the description box and if you'd like a reading. But in the meantime, thank you so much for being there with me. And thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you guys very soon and I'm sending you lots of love. Bye.